Santa. Dad, you're right. Oh, you're right. <laughs> Bizarre Design Lab, we believe that every human being was created with the potential for greatness. Every one of us, a creative genius in training. We are all lifelong learners, journeymen and women on a path to mastery in our craft. Well, what my unusually intelligent daughter Evie and I are here to do today is insert a very special element into our training. Fun. When I first discovered Rory's story cubes, I was immediately intrigued because firstly, who doesn't love a good story? Also, I couldn't help but imagine how much this game is going to help me to be able to learn to generate an idea from a simple picture on a cube. We've added a special twist to the game to increase the level of fun and push us to be even more creative. Now Evie's gonna tell us all about how it's going down. Evie. Each person takes turns picking out any number of dice out of this really cool box. We went with nine. The first person rolls the dice and creates a story from the cubes in any order they see fit. Then the next person adapts that story into a low quality skit. It can be done with live action, puppets, drawings, whatever they want. The only rule here is that it must not be overdone. Once that's done, the next person rolls the dice and it begins all over again. Choose your dice. Hello, and this is a commercial for all the peeps out there that eat, drink, sleep, and breathe. If you're sad, you need our octopus. See, this octopus is like amazing. Like, it can do everything. It can make ink for your printers. It can be really slimy and um, it wears a helmet, so <laughs> why wouldn't you get it? <laughs> Am I right? So, if you have ever lifted your feet off of the ground, you should totally get our octopus. I mean, you would love it. This octopus is like the best thing you could ever get. Guess what? This octopus, you can get ink for it for your letters, and it's like so useful because you never have to buy ink ever again. This costs um only a hundred bucks. Only a hundred bucks. Of course, the tax is one million dollars and one cent, um, but <laughs> no one cares about the tax. So, you, if you have ever seen water before, you should get our octopus. You can go to Walmart today, like right now, if you live by a Walmart, and you can make a deal with them to get our octopus. All you have to do is drive to Hawaii, and if you don't have a floating car, I mean, you can buy it on our um, on our website. It's called www. L, 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 <laughs> dot L. So if you drink, breathe, sleep, eat, consume anything, have been on concrete, can lift your feet off the ground, and have ever seen water, those are eight reasons you should come today, right now, at your Walmart, your local Walmart, and you can get a octopus, get rid of all your sad feelings, it, it's rain. <laughs> Here's some good ones. Hey, <laughs> you could be the shortest guy on the planet. That's okay. People might call you little crabby legs. Don't listen to them. They don't know what they're talking about. You got something really shiny about you that I, I just see. You're an incredibly shiny person, but you're not so shiny that people want to steal you. But you're shiny enough to where I'd want you to lock your door at night. Cause you never know. You never know what people are gonna do. People, you know, they go this way, they go that way, down, up, around. People are all over the place. And as an added precaution, I would very much advise you to get a, uh, a guard turtle for your house to bark when someone's coming nearby. Psst, and come in your house, that is the perfect guard turtle for you. The moral of this story is it doesn't matter what you look like, it doesn't matter how short or tall, how big or small, how, how crabbily your legs are, you can do 
it. Turtles can help. Well, there's the end of another bizarre video. Would you like to see more games like this on our channel? Tell us about it in the comments below. Do you want to see more creative life for episodes? Subscribe. Michael. Michael. What's up? Dad, I so you post again this. Okay, good. Dad, you're free. <laughs> Dad, you're late. Dad, you're late. Okay, go over there and do it one more time. What's up? Thank you. Hey, what's up, Mike?